Physics Chapter 4 Lesson 1 Mass, Weight, Inertia and Density Now, if you remember earlier on, um, physics is a study of matter and its relationship with energy. All right. So for this particular chapter, we are going to focus on understanding the properties of matter. Okay. So first and foremost, let's recall all matters are basically um, well made up. You can imagine it as being made up of atoms. All right. Um, and these atoms are basically the building block of many many things around us. In fact, everything around us. And you have, you have uh, also learned that um, objects around us exist in three states, uh, solid, liquid, and gas. And all these objects, whether they are in solid, liquid, or gas states, all of them are made up of atoms or matter. So let's have a look and, um, at these diagrams. Okay, Let's compare between the solid, liquid, and gas. Now, notice that the atoms in a solid state, they are all arranged very close to each other, and uh, due to their closeness to each other, they hardly have much space to move around. In fact, the atoms in a solid, they just vibrate about their fixed position. Okay. Not only that, notice that the number of atoms squeezed into this space are a lot more compared to the rest. Now, as for a liquid, you notice that the distance between the atoms are further apart compared to a solid. And since there are more space between them, these atoms are able to slide around each other, so they are not fixed in one particular position compared to that of a solid. And the last state, gas. Well, you will have noticed by now that the distance between the atoms in a gas are a lot more. And not only, only that, um, these atoms are really, really free to move around. And they will just move around, and if this container were to be open, these atoms itself, which is uh, in the gas, can actually escape into the surrounding itself. So, for this chapter, basically, we are trying to understand all this, okay, the significance and the meaning behind um, how the matters are like in a solid, liquid, and gas, and how does that contribute to this thing called mass, weight, inertia, and density. And once you have understood this. Uh, four key concepts of mass, weight, inertia, and density, we will be able to answer questions like this. Okay, For example, does weight have the same meaning as mass? Other questions would be like, which is heavier, one kilogram of feather or one kilogram of gold? And it will also help us understand and be able to answer this question as well. Which is denser, one kilogram of feather or one kilogram of gold? And other questions possibly, so if you look at this picture of an aquarium, we can also answer this question where why stone sinks in water but leaves floats? Why fishes can float or even sink? Okay, so these are some of the questions that we should be able to answer once you have understood these four key concepts. So these are the key objectives of this particular chapter and we will be exploring and we will try to understand a little bit more about these four concepts in the next video. Right. Thank you for listening.